What's up everybody, it's the Game and Goji and today I'm going to be going over some crazy Season 7 of the Dragon Prince theories in this video. And we have a lot to go over today because I have a full page of notes on theories of what the dragon will be in Season 7. Now you might be thinking, what do you mean the dragon? We already know what the dragon is. But I do think I found new members of the dragon that will join well, the, the current dragon in Season 7. And trust me, these are members that you are not going to expect. So without further ado, let's get right into my crazy Season 7 theories for the Dragon Prince. So let's get right into the theories. In Season 6, Rayla couldn't free all of her parents because one of the Quasar Diamonds was actually fake. And in the finale, she decided to free Runan, which requires only one Quasar Diamond. The other Quasar Diamond was used by Claudia to free Ervos, which leaves only one more Quasar Diamond left. And now that Runan is free, he will also have to join the drag gang, which will be kind of chaotic because he did kill King Harrow. And of course, Callum and Ezrin are part of the drag gang, so that's going to be really chaotic. And it's probably going to have its own little thing in Season 7. But now that Erevos is out and about, Callum, Rilla, and the others will need to find a way to stop him. Now in the Season 6 finale, there is a quick scene and it literally goes by in a second, but it might hold the answer to stopping Erevos. I'm going to quickly play the clip and then we'll analyze. So much! There's so much I have to tell you. Everything's changed. I don't even know where to start. I guess, oh, I have to introduce you to Callum. So in this clip, Callum looks very mysteriously at the coin as if he's got an idea. And this only means one thing. Callum might use this coin to trap Erebos' soul forever. It would make sense because we learned that Star Trek Elves cannot actually be killed. So trapping the soul of one would permanently seal their fate, just as Viren said to Unan for trapping him. But there is one slight problem. We do know that Callum has used dark magic in the past and that his soul is full of darkness. In Season 6, Cosmo tells Callum that there is a way to cure the darkness and that's by finding his deep truth, which is of course his light. After Callum becomes mostly clean by the light, Cosmo tells him that if he ever uses dark magic again, it will overwhelm him, potentially killing him. Okay, so right here, you could just say that he will sacrifice himself. I mean, the creators Aaron and Justin have given a hint that season 7's theme will be about sacrifice, but I have another theory. Honestly, it would be kind of boring for him to just sacrifice himself, you know? And if, let's be honest, he wasn't that tragic of a character to begin with. One part that made Viren's sacrifice more tragic was because he was a very complicated character and he was once, you know, a good person who turned into a very dark person. But Callum just isn't like that, mostly because he's basic. Okay, so let's go back to the Quasar Diamonds. There's only one left, right? Uh, who else is trapped in a coin? That's right, Kapar is. Since Kapar used to be a dark mage, he possesses all the knowledge there is to know about dark magic and with season 7 being called dark, it would make sense. Maybe they're gonna actually free Kapar using, you know, the same spell they used to free Runan. And that would just be crazy, you know, to have Kapar join the dragon. That would be insane. Look, think about it. You got Kapar and Unan in there. And there might be some struggling at the start, but Kapar might finally realize what Erebos has done to the world and Claudia. Now, keep in mind that Kapar probably knows Claudia and Soren. So once he sees how big of a threat Erebos is to them, he might actually agree to using dark magic in order to seal Erebos in a coin. Of course, the Staff of Zyred is kind of useless now because Erebos took the diamond from it, but maybe Kapar will have to use Claudia's corrupted Sun Staff in order to actually do the dark magic spell. So yeah, I know that was a lot, but I'm still not done here because there's someone else who I think will join the dragon in Season 7. And that is Terry. Through Seasons 4 and 6, Terry is mostly just an object for Claudia to use. Like literally, Claudia just uses Terry at this point. But in Season 7, I think he'll finally realize that she is not worth it anymore. Just look how terrified he is when he sees Titanic Erebos. Like he's not having it anymore. And just by this realization, Terry is probably going to leave Claudia and Erebos and finally join the good side. I'm just hoping he isn't used by them as well, but it's probably going to happen. Let's be honest. And more proof of this is that during this year's SDCC panel, there was an out of context spoiler given for season 7. And the spoiler is that Terry is going to be with two brand new pets. And if you remember from a while back, Bardell, the animation company for the Dragon Prince, released a small clip of Stella, the baitlings, and two star looking birds on a boat. These two birds could be Terry's new pets, and this boat even looks like it was crafted by Terry, since we've seen him craft a similar one in season 5. This just has to be Terry, and now since Stella and the Baitlings are there, he's officially joined the Drag Gang. So if these theories for Season 7 are true, the Drag Gang now consists of Soren, Callum, Rayla, Ezrin, Runan, Kapar, and Terry. 
I actually really hope these theories come true because that team would be really unexpected and would be an amazing twist. But yeah, those are all of my crazy season 7 theories that I want to share with you today. And this video was a lot, like, like, like a lot. It took me forever to make this. But anyway, I will be doing more season 6 coverage videos soon. But I just wanted to quickly, you know, start a season 7 theory video because you gotta agree, these theories are gonna be big for the plot of season 7. As always, make sure to subscribe and definitely leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.